Marquez Branley, the tech guy, just released a wallpaper app with a very positive response. That's right, $50 a year for something you can already get for free. Don't worry, he promises he'll improve it over time. Never buy a product based on the promise of future software updates. He shares with artists though. We are splitting profits with 50-50. The share is worse than the app store. It's also full of ads making a terrible experience and a privacy nightmare. You could say he missed the mark. So I'm gonna fix it. By the end of this day, that's right, I only need one day, I will make a better wallpaper app. My app will do everything Panels does, but free and not $50 a year. To make a wallpaper app, you need wallpapers. Now you can just Google wallpapers for free, but I wanna do so much manual labor to download all the wallpapers and then show them in the app. Instead, I can use an application programming interface, API. This just lets me ask the website for wallpapers and then the website sends them to me in a format that computers can easily understand. Good thing there's a bunch of free photo APIs, like pexels.com. What's that? It says very explicitly not to use the API for a wallpaper app. Can't see it. Wait, wait, it's not I can then write code to ask the API for images. And that is my list of wallpapers. But I need to show them now. This should be really simple. You just need a main screen, a grid of wallpaper cards, which you can click to take to a screen to apply the wallpaper. The card is just a small image of the wallpaper with its name at the bottom. And in just one hour, we have a wallpaper app. But you can't actually apply the wallpaper yet, so... This is the apply wallpaper screen. It shows a big preview of the wallpaper, a credit line, and options to download and support the artist. Instead of paying a subscription, where 50% of 70% goes to the artist, this button would donate directly to the artist. Here it goes to the artist's page on the Pexels website, which sometimes has a donate link on it. If I had more than 24 hours, which I'm assuming Marquez did, this would be a more seamless experience. I also tested the app on my phone for the first time. So we got not panels, but boards. Yeah, my wallpaper is actually just a black screen. Let's see if by the end of this video, I can get a new wallpaper using my app. The app works. You can browse wallpapers and preview them. Although the download button just saves to the gallery at the moment. The previews are ugly, but that's an easy fix. New feature alert! Search. This is something that your 2.27 copies of Shrek a year pays for. Just type the kind of wallpaper you want and get that kind of wallpaper. Okay, let's get cats. And yes, we've got cats. I also try to add a load more button. The API gives its images in pages. So this button asks for the next page, but this button like never works. I did a driving test and didn't run over any pedestrians. Okay, you know how this app is kinda, sorta, maybe breaking the terms of service? Well, if I wanna publish the source code, I can include the naughty code I've written. So I rewrote a fair bit of the program to separate the API stuff from the main app stuff. Instead of accessing the Pexels API directly, there's a middleman thingy. I don't know, I just made it more complicated for myself. Anyways, with this guideline breaking stuff in its own folder, I can publish the code online without including this folder. It's easier said than done. It took half an hour and it was incredibly frustrating, but I can't get into it because it's all technical Git stuff. Finally, I got my code on GitHub. I've got the link in the description, so you can check the source code out if you want. Instead of being expensive and proprietary, this app is free in price and free in freedom. Since my code is public now, I need to de it. This involves things like best practices instead of just doing what you want. <laughs> I also added a download options menu that asks where you want to apply the wallpaper. I had to ask ChatGPT to get this wallpaper applying code because changing the wallpaper isn't a thing supported by Unity. Also, a lot of the UI design is taken from Juxtaposed. I'll leave a link in the description. They did an excellent redesign and very quickly too. I'm taking a lot of their design ideas, making it and adding functionality to it. I also added multi-language support, because why not? I made the app feel like it's doing something while you wait with loading spinners and feel polished with animations. All right, there's just one animation. 
The app's looking rather nice now, but there's a couple things I'm missing from panels, like ads, subscriptions, the premium color orange, and the personalized home screen. The panel's homepage shows wallpapers from artists that you follow. The app makes you select five artists when you first load it up, which is a horrible design. I do not know any of these people. But wallpapers from these artists is what's shown in your For You feed. I'd love to add following artists and artist pages, but the API I'm using very legitimately doesn't provide any functionality for this. If I had perhaps two days instead of just one, I could look into adding some artist functionality. Unfortunately, I'll have to give Marquez Keith Brownlee High Definition the point for this feature. Maybe his app is worth the price. Or you could just buy real wallpaper. I had dinner and played a little bit of Stardew Valley. It's getting late, but I think it's time for one last feature. Panels has collections. The Pexels API has collections. So I think you can see where this is going. New feature alert! Oh wow. New feature alert! Collections. A collection is simply a list of wallpapers that fit a theme. Since this is going to be a big new feature, I decided to split the main screen into three tabs. Home, Search, Collections. This required rewriting a fair bit of code. Home will give you a list of featured wallpapers. Search will have a search bar and maybe some filters later. Collections will show a grid of collection cards. Collection cards are different from wallpaper cards because when you click on them, they open the collection. Opening a collection will show the wallpaper cards for that collection, with a bar that shows the title, description if it has one, and back button. Wow, this is a lot of stuff to add with only four hours till midnight. It's getting quite late, making coding much harder. I spent 30 minutes trying to fix one single bug. But the collections tab, after taking its sweet time to load, now shows collections, which you click to show the wallpapers. There is no escape. Also search broke. It's getting quite late. My brain is mush. But the grind continues. I fixed bugs, created more bugs, and new feature alert! Search by color. Boom! Color cards. Boom! They don't work. I also started caching responses. This means that instead of asking the website every time I want a list of wallpapers, I ask it once, save the result to the disk, and then load it from your computer. This is quicker because the internet's quite far away, but your hard drive should be pretty close. And a wallpaper app does not need very up-to-date information, so it can get away with just storing the data indefinitely and not deleting it after some time. Another advantage is that this should prevent people being kind of sus that I'm using the API against their terms of use. It's getting extremely late. Only one hour to midnight. The end of this challenge. I slowly rush to wrap up all the features and fix all the bugs. Um, everyone's asleep, so I have to be a bit quiet. I'm using all the time available in the day and I'm making the final version right now. I got the final version on my phone and finally went to bed. Psych, there was a bug. So I had to get a final version, version two. This is a crafting table. <laughs> and this is CoCrafters.io. If you want to level up your programming skills, CoCrafters is the place to do it. You get to learn, not by watching boring tutorials, but by actually building real projects, block by block. Don't worry if you get stuck. There's hints, screencasts, concepts, forums, and examples to help craft your project. Want to learn a new programming language? They support a whole stack of them. Become a better developer by joining Code Crafters. Start for free and use my link for 40% off a membership. Ooh. So I got here panels and boards. Let's open boards. Okay, so this is the app, but better. Okay, so the images previews are a bit low resolution here. Um, that's not very good, but I can click one. It loads a fuller resolution preview. 
we can support artists, get wallpaper. Let's support the artist. Instead of having to buy our subscription, it takes us to to a donate page. Just, just pretend that was more seamless, because I only had a day, remember? Okay, now let's go back. We can search. Let's search something, maybe like orange, and we can search dog. Let's get some orange dogs. Yeah, so it's searching. We've got orange dogs here. Let's look at that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's our search page. We've got all these colors. Now I can go to collections. And we can load more collections if we want. Maybe we can do blue aesthetic. Scroll down. Keep looking at some more wallpapers. That's pretty good, isn't it? But let's say I want these blueberries. So click that. And now the get wallpaper button. I've tried this before. It crashes my screen recorder. So I'll stop recording here. I'll download the wallpaper and then I'll re-record when it's finished downloading because um yeah, it, it's a bit slow. Yeah, it's literally frozen. I don't know how I made downloading this bad. <laughs> um, okay, we can apply wallpaper to home screen, lock screen, both are just download. Let's deal with our home screen. Now, applying the wallpaper takes its sweet, sweet time. Um, and it also has no indication that it's actually doing something. This is just a symptom for having less than 24 hours to work on this. I'm sure MKBHD, if you can get a robot that adjusts his camera to get better shots, can afford more on his app than I can. <laughs> okay, so it's finally applied. Then we go home and we got blueberries on our wallpaper. Throughout that whole thing, I watched not two, not one, zero ads. I had to buy no subscriptions. Wow. Honestly, my app isn't that good, but for being made in a day, the value for money is pretty good compared to panels. If you want to see more coding challenges, watch this video over here. Thank you for watching. I am Steve.